Hello, Heidi. Hello, my peeps, and welcome to another Dollar Tree meal idea. Um, this is, I think I'm going to call this Louisiana Mex Chorizo Burritos because I'm using a chorizo from Dollar Tree and I'm using the New Orleans Jambalaya style rice mix um, also from Dollar Tree. So that'll give us a fun sort of fusion style burrito. I also have from the Dollar Tree the uh, Don pa the Don Pancho, uh, very very large uh, uh, flour uh, tortillas, which will make there are six count in that package, so that'll make six large you know meal size burritos, um, and then. I'm also using the Silver State brand white cheddar cheese with black pepper. Um, and last, I happen to have some cabbage left over from the last time I made a Chinese chicken salad, a Dollar Tree Chinese chicken salad. And um, I'm going to use about half of this and, you know, cut it up so it's shredded real fine. And I'll use that in the burritos as well. I'm not going to cook it with the chorizo I'm just gonna have it fresh so that'll add some fiber you know how I am when it comes to cabbage I mean cabbage is a as far as I'm concerned it's a miracle food it's got a lot of vitamins in it it's got some fiber in it it's just a wonderful thing to add bulk to your dinners and to add fiber to this you know more highly carby kind of food that that you cook when you when you cook from the Dollar Tree um, although this one's nice, we've got a lot of proteins here, um, and of course we've got the carbs, the rice, which is cooking in my rice cooker right now, and um, in the burritos. So this is actually, this is actually a more balanced uh, recipe than a lot of the ones that I've shared with you. So much of so much of what Dollar Tree cooking is about is about how um, you know carb carbohydrate base carbohydrate base along with some sort of a vegetable and then a meat or a or a protein like a cheese or something like that so anyhow let's get to it okay so I have cubed up about a quarter not cubed sliced up about a quarter of a cabbage now um, since I'm working with a relatively small amount of cheese I'm going to show you a little tip that I do if like I know I'm gonna make six burritos so what I will do is I will cut this block of cheese into six equal strips you know I'll I cut it down the center then into thirds you know across there so that I have six equal pieces of cheese about this you know about this thick and um, then I cut those I'll probably into four long strips so that I know exactly how many pieces of cheese um, each burrito is going to take in order to evenly distribute the cheese across all six burritos so that's how I that's how I handle that all right I've cut up my um, block of cheese it's about um, oh our rice is ready how nice um, it's gonna take about four oh I hear you I hear you I'm gonna turn you oh it turned it off itself okay so it's gonna take about four slices per per burrito now what we're gonna do is get our um, chorizo cooking um, I've taken it out of the tube thing and you can see that I've got it in water and the reason I have it in water is because when I cook something like this something that's really greasy and then I know I'm gonna have to drain anyhow especially if it's a oh any kind of a sausage I'll, I'll cook like this um, I'll, I what I like to do is kind of steam it in addition to frying it and that I just kind of like the texture better it it gets all the extra grease out and um, and of course if, it's, if you're eating something that's highly seasoned it will also wash out some of the seasoning um, which could be a pro or a con depending on how you feel about that it doesn't bother me chorizo is highly seasoned I know I'm gonna definitely have enough seasoning in there to to keep it nice and spicy so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cook this. I'm going to take it to the sink and drain it, kind of wash it with some hot water so it's as grease free as possible. And then we are going to come back and assemble our burritos. 
Okay, our um, chorizo is done. I didn't drain it because um, there isn't a whole lot of standing oil in this. I mean, it looks pretty much just like the the meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to going to uh, put it up into my rice, my finished rice. Just going to go right into the rice cooker, and that's going to get mixed around. Um, when I cook a meat like this, a sausage or sometimes even ground beef, I try to look at it more as a seasoning than anything else. So it doesn't really take a whole lot to, you know, to taste and to get the effect of the meat. As you notice, the, um, the, chor the chorizo package was pretty small. I mean, once you cook that down there's not a whole lot left to go in your burrito but this will this will give the this will give the rice that chorizo flavor and that is what we're going for now i'm going to do something else that's going to seem a little um a little counterintuitive to you and that's that i'm going to put this fresh um cabbage right into the rice and chorizo mixture and I'm just going to kind of fold it into that. Now, the reason why is because the heat of the meat and the rice kind of wilts the cabbage a little bit. Um, doesn't cook it, just kind of wilts it. Gives it a nice, um, a real nice uh, consistency. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to fold this in until it looks pretty well integrated. And we're almost there. And then we're going to go ahead and assemble these burritos. Alrighty, at this point you can just use your soft uh, flour tortilla and go ahead and put your burrito together. Personally, I prefer my flour tortillas um, uh, kind of cooked up a little bit on a dry skillet with a little bit of water um, evaporating off there. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cook these on a dry skillet. Um, it's probably dry enough. And what I like to do is I like to get them a little bit, a uh, little bit crusty on each side. Not too much, just just a little bit. Cook them up just a little bit. And um, and I just find that um, I just find that I prefer my I prefer my uh, flour tortillas cooked like this. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and see how it brown, starts to brown up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and cook up all six of these and then we'll come back. All right. See if I've got this more or less in view. And so I've mixed everything up with my rice. So the first thing I'm going to do is lie down uh, the four pieces of cheese and then just fill it up like a burrito here most of you guys have made these before just put about a sixth of it of your mix in there then I'm gonna have to turn this around to do my roll so what I do is I do my first rollover then I tuck this bottom end up and I leave the top open and I just continue my roll until what I end up with is something that looks like this. Okay, let me put this on the plate and we'll do another one. I'm using a, my uh, small tripod today so I'm having a bit of trouble with my um, with the visibility, I should have gone back a few inches, but this will, you can get the idea. So again, I'm going to make one fold over, push one end up so it's closed on one end, and then finish the roll over. And there we go, although I just lost a bunch of stuff out of the top. No biggie. You just grab it and throw it back in like that. Now I'm going to put this on the plate. 
and I'm going to go ahead and roll up the rest. Okay, our um, our burritos are all filled, and I still have uh, filling left. I could have made easily made two more, um, filling them as overfilled as I did these, or you, I could have made, stretched it out and done two dozen. But you, as you can see, these these burritos are large. They're big. Let's pull one out here. Um, I'm going to take this one out. And I am going to give this thing, give this thing a try and tell you what I think. Oh, wow. Oh, that is tasty. Mmm. Okay, you can really taste the chorizo, even though there wasn't that much in there. Um, the rice has a great flavor with it. I can taste the cheese. Now, one thing I, I didn't do was put any sort of a sauce in it or cover it with a sauce or anything like that. I'm taking another bite. This is just too good. Oh, wow. Okay. That was, that was killer. Now, um, one thing I did not do, I'm going to turn around and look at you guys. Okay. I'm all hot and sweaty. It's a hot, sweaty day in California. <laughs> okay. Make sure I don't have food on my, oh, I probably do have food on my mouth. Sorry. It'll be interesting to watch this video and see how bad I look. <laughs> Anyhow. Forget about that. It's all about the food, right? Anyway, um, you can use uh, just a regular taco sauce or you can make up a sauce. Uh, what I like to do, besides spit all over myself, is um, I take a little mayonnaise, a little hot sauce, and a little bit of barbecue sauce, and maybe a little mustard, Dijon mustard. And I'll, I'll you know, mix that all up. And that makes a nice um, kind of a a mildly spicy, creamy sort of sauce that you could dip the edge of the burrito in. Or for that matter, you could just put some inside the burrito before you wrap it up. So, um, yeah, I just, I just, yeah, dang, that, this is really good. Try this, you guys. Any one of you, any of you, you who like a, something a little bit spicier, this is an excellent recipe to try. And don't be afraid of getting 12 uh, flour tortillas or maybe the smaller, slightly smaller flour tortillas um, because the, the amount of filling that I showed you would easily go through 12 if you put just a little bit less in each one. So on that happy but somewhat messy note, um, I will say bye-bye. I'll talk to you guys later.